I mean, it's been on for a while now. Uh, Mark Sampson, uh, former coach of the England women's national team, and Eniola Aluko. Uh, Nigerian born English like, football player. Yeah, one of their top players, mm -hmm. um, you know, over 100 caps and, and stuff like that. But the issue's been on, basically. Aluko's come out to say, okay, I was subjected to uh, racist, allegedly uh, discriminatory. There was a cover-up. I came out. I told uh, you know, talks uh, from this coach. And um, the FA um, apparently didn't handle the situation well. Uh, the investigations uh, they've done... Um, apparently wasn't thorough enough and that's why an independent yes barista barista was now in. put in to do it and she's not come up with her own findings and basically saying that mark samson is actually um subjected uh Eniola aluko and drew spence to discriminatory remarks on grounds of race i mean where are we going with this this is is a bit messy and you it's think it's a bit and I'm not trying to play the devil's advocate. Okay. We, we had this when Suarez, Patrice, ever uh, happened. A lot of people will say there's a difference between racist and, comment and, and being, being racist. A racist. Okay. This was an ill-fated attempt to make a joke. Joke, right. And it went, it, it went, it went really bad. It went really bad, and yep. the players didn't like it. But what, what, is, the main what makes it worse for me was in your last comments about being bullied, being, you know, being, I mean, they tried to shove, shove it off, you know. But funny enough, the matter just kept on coming up. As much as they tried to brush it aside, mm. it keeps coming up. And, you know, she said, look, there are, there are many cases like this. But she has a voice. She's been able to present her case and, and, and bring it out. And that is why we're hearing. Absolutely. And, and if a coach can just make an attempt to, you know, give you a jibe or make some jokes... On the grounds of race, mm. and and you know everybody expects life to go on normally as if uh, mm. nothing has happened. I, th I think it's really sad. Yeah, really sad, and that's why uh, Eniola didn't take this line uh, line yes. down as well. That's there was why even she... an inquiry. Exactly, and and she's done all that. And um, basically, the story now is that Eniola Luko, uh, the FA, uh, Martin Glenn, uh, they all faced the British Parliament yesterday, and uh, that's the outcome. I want to offer a full and unreserved apology to. <coughs> Excuse me, to Drew and Eniola. Um, yeah, an independent report has found that they were they were subject to discriminatory remarks, which is both against the Equality Act 2010, but to us every bit as important against the values of the FA. And it's not right that an FA employee should have behaved that way. Um, my overwhelming emotion really is is just relief because it has been a long long process getting to this point. Um, I say it in my statement that I'm not the architect or engineer of any of these circumstances, I've, I've been pretty much been put in this situation. But I was always honest and truthful about those comments and, and about other comments that I've raised um, and about the, the culture of the, the team under Mark Sampson. Um, and so I, I feel vindicated in that honesty and that truth. And um, you know, I'm a human being. I feel relieved because it it it's, um, it suggests that it, it was kind of all worth it, you know, to go through that trouble to now sort of have that vindicated. Eniola yeah. feeling vindicated uh, right there. It, it, it remains to be seen uh, if Eniola Luko will get a look in uh, with the women's national team again. Ever since that particular situation, uh, she hasn't played uh, for the country. And uh, that's a very, um, you know, uh, interesting <laughs> angle to I monitor. Was, I, I, I let, have to let me say this. Yeah. What's wrong with Martin Glenn? Over I mean, the apology, you almost choked. Yeah, I mean, we're human, after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, they have yeah. dropped the ball. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And that's why they've come out to apologize. That was a public Even the apology. members of parliament didn't just apologize to mm. Anuko. All the you know, women football players, mm. because they felt it's a culture. Mm. And that's what she's saying. This thing is, is like a norm. You just, you just say it, and she wasn't cool with it. Mm. And so uh, the FA uh, had to, you know, Swallowed your pride. Yes. Apologize yes. to Aluko. Yeah. And the members of parliament took it forward and said, look, for every woman that have suffered this kind of treatment while playing football for England, we're sorry yes. uh, as well. And we'll I see mean, what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, the FA clearly in breach, uh, they clearly breached down the duty of care, uh, which they owe all those players yes. that are centrally uh, contracted to the women's uh, national team in England. And uh, uh, there was a very shoddy um, way to, you know, handle it. to handle the situation. And um, before we move on, Yemi, I think 
I have not seen the end of this. I think, I think, so. think, I think some so. people might actually pay with their job for this. Martin Glenn and, and some guys at the FA have uh -huh. already been fingered that they might probably not finish their tenure. Mm. Um, a, a lot of they, they didn't handle it. I mean, just look at the way the man choked <laughs> under the It was apology. obvious, right? It was obvious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could have done better. He, he didn't know he was going to get a report that would have to apologize. Something mm. that has been swept under the carpet dead and buried. And, and, and Eola said it right there. That Look, I didn't engineer anything. Everything was taken out of my hands. But, mm. you know, somehow she was vindicated.